to identify chloride, bromide and iodide ions. Your first experiment is based on chapter of periodic table. We have learnt long form of modern periodic table. All the elements are arranged according to the increasing order of atomic number. How to identify various elements in compounds around us? That was a big question which was discussed since long. For that, certain method is used which is known as qualitative analysis. Here is a sample experiment which gives us an idea of identifying elements from different compounds. 17th group in modern periodic table contains elements like fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine and astatine. These are non-metals and they form ionic compounds with the metals. For example, sodium is a metal and chlorine is a non-metal. So sodium and chlorine form ionic bond between them and sodium chloride is produced. In this experiment, we will identify chloride, bromide and iodide ions from the given salts. We need apparatus like test tubes, stand, droppers, etc. We also need compound silver nitrate. Three powders are given which look similar in nature. They are all white crystalline powders. They are powders of potassium chloride, potassium bromide and potassium iodide. For experiment normally, we don't take them in powder form. We take their water solutions. Procedure we keep solutions of potassium chloride, potassium bromide and potassium iodide in three test tubes and label them as A, B and C. Now we want to find out what they really contain. Which test tube contains chloride, which test tube contains bromide and which test tube contains iodide. We keep these test tubes A, B and C on the test tube stand and add a few drops of silver nitrate to these three test tubes. Silver nitrate or AgNO3 is a reagent and it reacts with the solutions in the test tubes A, B and C. Then you will observe what happens. We need to be careful while adding silver nitrate. Don't waste silver nitrate, it is a costly reagent. Adding a very few drops is enough for the chemical reaction. Note down the observations in the table. As soon as you add silver nitrate, we find that chemical reaction starts and some product is developed. This product is not a liquid but it is solid. Such solid product that comes out of the solution is known as precipitate and a process is called precipitation. In all three test tubes you will find precipitates. It means that when silver nitrate reacts with these three compounds or solutions, precipitate is formed. This indicates that there is a possibility that there may be halides or compounds of halogen in these three solutions. These halides are giving us precipitates. In test tube A, precipitate formed is white in color. In test tube B, precipitate formed is light yellow in color. In test tube C, precipitate formed is dark yellow in color. The color indicates which ion exists in a particular solution. White color indicates that there must be chloride, light yellow color indicates bromide and dark yellow color indicates iodide in the solution. This is the observation table. We conclude the following. We have identified that all three solutions contain halide or compound formed by halogens which is 17th group. There is precipitation. Precipitates are of different colors. Colors give us information if it is chloride, bromide or iodide. This process is a preliminary example of qualitative analysis. If we want to confirm further whether it is really chloride, bromide or iodide, some more tests have to be carried out. They are known as confirmatory tests. All these elements are from one group. Why? Because when they react with silver nitrate, they form precipitate. Though they are of different color, precipitation is an indicator of 17th group elements.